Town Mouse and Country Mouse Once upon a time, a town mouse decided to pay a visit to his cousin in the country. It had been a long time since the two mice had seen each other and it would be fun to spend time together, thought Town Mouse. So he packed himself a little suitcase and set off for the countryside. Country Mouse lived in a little cottage built into a log on the edge of a farm. It was a simple home, but neat and cosy, just as Country Mouse liked it. When he heard a knock at the door, he was surprised and delighted to see his cousin standing there. Come in, come in, he said to Town Mouse, and then shut the small wooden door behind them. You must be hungry after your long journey, he said. Let me find us something to eat. Country Mouse made himself busy, preparing supper for the two mice. When he eventually set the tray of food down on his little table, he said to Town Mouse, I'm afraid it isn't much. Just some acorns and a bit of cheese I found in the farmhouse this morning. But it should be enough to satisfy our tummies for tonight. Town Mouse was stunned by the light meal that his cousin had served. He nibbled at the food to be polite, but he couldn't resist telling tales of the piles of fruit, bread and cake that he regularly feasted on back in the town. You must come back to the town with me, he said to his cousin. Country Mouse, whose mouth was watering with the thought of all that delicious food, agreed without hesitation. So the next day, the two mice set off through the woods and across fields until they came to the busy town. Before long, they arrived at the rather grand house where Town Mouse lived and they scurried under the door. Town Mouse led his cousin straight to the kitchen where they found an array of food all laid out on the table. There were crackers and biscuits, cheese, jams and chutneys, meat, pastries and fruit. The two little mice immediately began to tuck into the feast. Mmm, delicious, sighed Country Mouse contentedly between mouthfuls. I don't think I will ever go back home. But just then, the cat of the house pushed the door, meowing loudly. Quick, shouted Town Mouse, this way and he grabbed Country Mouse by the paw and the two scampered away to safety down a mouse hole. Country Mouse was shaking. We were nearly eaten, he said. Ridiculous, answered Town Mouse. Now, follow me and let me show you a real feast. He took his cousin to the dining room where the table was heaving with food. The two mice jumped up to the table and began nibbling, and Country Mouse soon forgot how scared he had been just minutes before. It wasn't long, however, before the door opened and the lady of the house came in, followed by a big dog. The dog spotted the mice and immediately ran over to the table barking. When the lady saw the mice up on the table, she screamed and began to swat at them with the wooden spoon that she'd been carrying in her hand. When the mice were safely back in Town Mouse's mouse hole, Country Mouse picked up his jacket and his little suitcase and turned to his cousin. I'm afraid it's time for me to leave, he said. There are many luxuries here in the town, but it's far too dangerous for me. I know that my life in the countryside is simple and I may not have as many delicious things to eat, but I would much rather have peace and quiet than live every day in fear. And with that, Country Mouse thanked Town Mouse and hugged him goodbye, before heading happily back to his peaceful little house in the country. <laughs>